Hebrews chapter 3, verse 7 through 8. Wherefore, as the Holy Ghost saith, today, if you will hear his voice, harden not your hearts, as in the provocation and the day of temptation in the wilderness. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahabshai, Bashem, or Kodash, forgive me the spirit, to do this lesson. This lesson is going into the wilderness, okay? The provocation in the wilderness. Now, the scriptures are written for our learning. So when you read about this, okay, in this chapter, when it speaks about it, it speaks about going back and looking, reading, understanding the offense that was happening in the wilderness, okay, from Israel to the Most High, okay? And right now, you're in your personal wilderness. Let me explain what that means. Because when you came into truth and you woke up, you believe, you have faith that what? That Yahweh Bashim Shah is with you. When you look back in the wilderness, when they got saved through the Red Sea, Yahweh Bashim Shah proved them and said, What? I am with you. Just trust in me. But instead of trusting, they had the provocation. Now let's go into the Google on provocation, okay? Because in the blue letter, it just says provocation. So we're going to go and Google on this one. Provocation, action or speech that makes someone annoyed or angry, especially deliberately. Let's read that again. Action or speech that makes someone annoyed or angry. Now, who was annoyed and angry? Yahweh, the Most High. Why? Because the Hebrews had no faith. They had no faith, man. What are you going to drink? What are you going to eat? All this complaining and doubtful spirit because they truly didn't believe that Yahweh was with them, even though he saved them and put all those plagues on Egypt and saved them through a great, great salvation, man. Okay? A great, great salvation through the split sea. So how after that you don't believe that he with you, man? Okay? So speaking to us now in this time, he woke us up. We know who we are. We know the mysteries. Okay. We're taken care of daily. No matter what. You know, you go through tribulations, but he's still on time and take care of you. So what else do you need? What else do you need to understand that Yahweh Shemashah is with you, man? Why are you doubting? Why do you have disbelief? Okay. Now, real quick, let's go to Hebrews chapter 11, starting at verse 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to Yahweh must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. By faith, Noah being warned of Yahweh of those things not seen as yet, moved with fear, prepared an ark to the saving of his house, by the which he condemned the world and became heir of righteousness, which is by faith. <laughs> right. Heir of righteousness, which is by faith. We talk about being joint heirs uh, to Yahweh Shai with Yahweh Shai. Okay, well, that's by faith. Okay, believing, man. Okay, because what happened is, man, you are going circles and circles and circles in your life right now. I'm speaking in your life right now because you have all this provocation in you, man. Complaining in your mind. If the Lord going to do this, if the Lord going to do that. I'm talking about need. I ain't talking about something you just want. I'm talking about the needy things in your mind. You going back and forth. Okay? If you're doing that, you're doing the same thing that they did in the wilderness, man. Which is why they're going back in circles. Which is why you probably going in circles right now. Through situations, man. In your own wilderness. Going in circles and circles and circles. Why? Because you have this doubtful spirit, man. Even though your Hawaii Bashim al Shai has already showed you that they are with you. Different signs, different things, man. Okay, and you still have lack of faith, just like they had after the split sea, after seeing Pharaoh get drowned in his armies, man, seeing that great power, and they have all these complaints, okay, on the needy things. Like, really, the Lord ain't going to give you water to drink? The Lord ain't going to feed you? Really? But that's the spirit they have, and we can't have that spirit, man. That's why I'm reading this. Verse 8, by faith, Abraham, when he was called to go out into a place which he should have to receive for an inheritance, obeyed and he went out not knowing whether he went right man they did these things by faith the ancient man because they believed Yahweh Shah was with them okay because Yahweh Shah has already showed them they was with him so 
They didn't need to see nothing else. They need to just trust in him, man. Okay? Period, man. Let's go back to Hebrews 3. Uh, let's start at verse 9. When your fathers tempted me, proved me, and saw my works 40 years, verse 10, wherefore I was grieved with that generation and said, they do always err in their heart and your mind, and they have not known my ways. Right, man. Okay, they have not known my ways. So I swear in my wrath, they shall not enter into my rest. Keep that in mind, man. You want to enter into the rest? Well, don't be in this spirit because the way they were acting, man, that doubtful, whack-ass spirit, man, they were getting killed off going in circles in the wilderness, man. Okay? And that can happen to you right now, being in that spirit. Verse 12. Take heed, brethren, lest there be in any of you an evil heart of unbelief. So it's evil to have unbelief to your power, man. That's an evil thing. That's a wicked thing to do. Okay? So it says, of you an evil heart of unbelief and departing from the living power. Okay, so unbelief is a sign of departing from Yahweh Shemel Shai. Okay? But exhort one another daily while it is called today, lest any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. For we are made partakers of Yahweh Shai if we hold the beginning of our confidence. That's that confidence, man. Okay? Jake was supposed to have confidence after seeing that split seat. Come on, man. <laughs> Your confidence should be skyrocketed high. But now nah, it was so low that they didn't think the most high was going to feed them after doing all that, man. After that glorious salvation that happened. Jake, crazy as hell, man. <laughs> Come on. What kind of spirit is that? We can't have that spirit, man. So it says, if we hold the beginning of our confidence steadfast until the end, while it is said today, if you will hear his voice, harden not your hearts as in the provocation, right, talking that doubtless bullshit in your mind okay which is gonna piss your how about your mouth shot off think about that today in your minds brothers okay how your mind is going man okay verse 16 for some when they had heard did provoke how be it not all that came out of egypt by moses but with whom was he grieved forty years was it not with them that had sinned whose carcasses fell in the wilderness right man so you don't want your carcass to fall in the wilderness, okay? In your wilderness, man. <laughs> because really, when you have this doubtful spirit, you got to think about the wilderness. Going in circles and circles and circles, man. Because you refuse to just trust in your Habashim Abishai, okay, in this journey. You have to trust in your Habashim Abishai in this journey. If he's already showed you he's with you, why go backwards and doubt him? He's already showed you. He's already given you signs. You woke. You understand, Okay? You know the mysteries, man. Okay, and different things, man, that he's done in your life. If you spiritually pay attention and stop being carnal minded. See, Jake in the wilderness were being carnal minded, man. They weren't looking at the whole thing. If they did, they would know that they're going to eat. They would know that Yahweh Shemashai wouldn't save them for them not to eat after salvation. That's stupid, man, to think like that. Verse 18 And to whom swear he that they should not enter into his rest? But to them that believe not. Right. To them that believe not, meaning don't trust in him. So we see that they could not enter in because of unbelief. Ooh. That's why it's impossible to please him without faith, because unbelief, you cannot enter into his rest. So in this chapter, it's telling you to go back, man. You know, I will go back, you know, read that story and see how they were acting, man. And see how mad the most I was. Okay, he was putting them to death for that reason, man. So if you don't follow what the scriptures say about having that faith, okay, above all, being strong with faith, man, then you can fall into this hole, man. And if you do, you ain't going to make it, period. You're not going to please the Lord with this spirit, man. If you believe he's with you, show it. Walk it. Walk as the children of light. So with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakaq Wadash, forgive me spirit to do this lesson. Double honors to the elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom to your Akamath that is doing the truth and sincerity. Shalom.